Welcome to my channel. This is Franco Pantaleon. In this video, we will discuss about geometric progression. We will focus only on the following. 1. We will recognize a geometric progression. 2. We find the nth term of a geometric progression. 3. We find the sum of geometric series and last but not the least, we find the sum to infinity of a geometric series with a common ratio where the absolute value of R is less than 1. A geometric progression is a sequence where each new term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a constant R called the common ratio. If the first term of the sequence is A, then the geometric progression is this series. So we have this. The first term is A and the second term is AR. Notice that these have a common ratio of R. This number divided by this number is simply equal to R. Now again, this number divided by this number, we have a common ratio of R. And again, this number divided by this number, again, we have a common ratio of R. Now, in order for us to determine the nth term, our formula is simply this. We have A times R to the power of N minus 1. Now, the sum of the terms of geometric progression gives a geometric series. If the starting value is A and the common ratio is R, then the sum of the first N terms is this. So this is this formula is applicable if and only if our R is not equal to 1. Now, if we wanted to find the sum to infinity of a geometric progression with the starting value A and a common ratio R, it is given by this formula. Take note that this formula is valid if and only if the absolute bar value of R is less than 1. So these are the three most useful formulas when we deal with geometric progression. We have this 1, 2, and 3. If you are well versed with this formula, then you'll be able to solve most of the problems involved when it comes to geometric progression. So let us have our first illustrative example. Find the sum of the geometric series 2, 6, 18, 54, where there are six terms in the series. For this series, we have our first term, this is our A, is equal to 2. And our common ratio, 6 divided by 2 is 3. If we check again, 18 divided by 6 is 3. And 54 divided by 18 is 3. So our common ratio, R, is equal to 3. And our N here is equal to 6 since we have 6 terms in the series. To find the sum of this series, we have A sub N is equals to A times 1 minus R to the power of N all over 1 minus R. Having known the values of the variables in our formula, then we have S sub 6 
the sum of the six terms in our geometric progression we have our a is 2 times 1 minus our r is 3 to the power of 6 over 2 1 minus r really, where r is equal to 3 and we have our s sub 6 is simply equal to 2 times 1 minus 3 to the power of 6 it is 729 all over negative 2 so when we evaluate this expression so we have negative 78 divided uh, times negative 1 so we have this is equals to 728 so this is our answer okay next all right illustrative example number two find the sum of the geometric series 8 negative 4 2 negative 1 where there are five terms in the series for this series we have our a is equals to 8 and our common ratio is if we will check the common ratio we have 4 negative 4 divided by 8 is equal to the common ratio is negative 1 half likewise 2 divided by negative 4 is equal to negative 1 half likewise we have negative 1 divided by 2 is equals to negative 1 half. So we have our R is equal to negative 1 half. And since we have 5 terms, we have N equals to 5. Therefore, our S sub N is equal to again A times 1 minus R to the power of N over 1 minus R. Substituting the values, we have S5 times 8 times 1 minus negative 1 half to the power of 5 all over 1 minus negative 1 half. Evaluating the values, evaluating this expression, we have R value is equals to 11 over 2 or 5 and 1 half so this is our answer so this is the sum of our geometric series where we have five terms another illustrative example how many terms are there in the geometric progression? So we have 2, 4, 8, that, 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 until number 128. So we take note that our A is equals to 2. And if we examine 4 divided by 2, our common ratio is equal to 2. And we have 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So we have our R is equal to 2. Now take note here that our nth term is equal to 128. So R, the formula for R, n term is ER to the power of n minus 1 and this should equal to 128 okay we will substitute our values we have 1 to 8 is equals to our a is 2 our r is 2 our only unknown is n 
So we have simplifying this further 128 divided by 2 is equals to 64 is equals to 2 times n to the power of n 2 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so we can simplify this number here. So 64 is equal, simply equal to 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 2 to the power of n minus 1. If you notice, you can simplify this further such that r 6 is equals to n minus 1. So we can solve for our n. We have n is equals to 7. So the number 128 is our seventh term. So this is our answer. Last but not the least, illustrative example. Find the sum to infinity of the geometric progression. Okay, so our first number, we have our a is simply equal to 1. So take note that our common ratio here is simply equal to Mm -hmm. We have one third divided by one is equal to one third. If we inspect this, our common ratio is one third. Therefore, our R is simply equal to one third. Now, So, our R, the absolute value of R is less than 1. Then, to find the sum to infinity for this geometric progression, the formula is simply equal to, we have A over 2 over 1 minus R. So, the sum to infinity simply equal to, our A is 1. 1 minus 1 third for our r. So our sum to infinity for this geometric series is we have 3 halves. So this is our answer. So take note that we have only used the three main formulas that we have illustrated previously. So I hope you learn from this video. If you like the content of this video, click like and subscribe. Thank you.